as we said, most of the verbs we put ed. Visit, visited, yes. I visited my grandma last Friday. Something happened last Friday and finished last Friday. Something not happening now. It's happened and finished. Like visit, visited. I visited my grandma last Friday. Oh, I dropped my keys yesterday. What happened here? Drop, dropped. Why we didn't just add ed like watch and watch it, visit, visited? Hmm, why? What happened? Because here is a verb ending in vowel plus consonant. So, if the verb ends with vowel plus consonant, like o, which is the vowel, and b, which is the consonant, we double the consonant, then add e, d. So, the consonant is p. We double p, then add e, d. So, drop become dropped. Okay. Do you remember what is the vowel? Vowel letters do we do we have? Smile face. O, A, E, U, and I. So, if you so any of those letters before a consonant, we double the consonant, then put E D. Like drop, dropped. I dropped my keys yesterday. Mmm, yummy! My mother baked a cake. It was very delicious. My mother baked a cake. So, what should we do here in bake? As usual, we put ed. But look, they just put D. Where is the other D E? Okay, here, because there is already the verb ends with E, we will just add D. If the verb ends with E, we will just add D. Like pick, picked. So, my mother picked a cake. Mmm, very delicious. I studied hard for the exam. Studied. <gasps> what happened here? We just put ED. Where is the Y and why there is I here? When the verb ends, Ending in a consonant plus Y, we remove Y or cancel it, then add I, E, D. So here study ends with consonant plus Y. So what happened here? We removed Y and put I, E, D. Study, studied. I studied hard for the exam. I played football last Sunday. Miss, miss, miss. It's very easy. It ends with Y. We remove it and put IED. No, we'll not do that. But why? In the study, we, you told us to remove Y and put IED. Because before the Y, there was consonant. But here, before the Y, there is a vowel. We can't remove Y, we can't put two vowels together. So in this case, when the verb ends with vowel plus Y, we just add E, D. So play, played. I played football last Sunday. So what's the difference between study and studied and played? Studied or study. Study ends with consonant, then Y. But play a vowel, then Y. A 
affirmative statement how to form a sentence in past our form is subject plus infinitive or the verb plus ed or the or i ed as we said before in some in one case we put ed other case we put d and the other case i e d okay subject like he she it i you and they then the verb okay like for the example they listened to stories what else i watch a tv we visited my grandmother we ate fish we studied hard we traveled to Alexandria and now for the negative form what is the meaning of negative? something you didn't do it you won't say that I didn't do that so what's the form for the negative? subject plus didn't plus infinitive why is the verb here is an infinitive not with ed or i ed or ed because did take the past form if we put did we put after it we put the verb the verb and infinitive okay like she didn't watch the sun rise she didn't play cards i didn't study I didn't do my homework. I didn't watch TV. I didn't eat the cupcake. Um, I didn't drink the milk. I didn't play video games. And now, if you want to ask a question in the past, we start with dead. Dead plus subject plus the verb and infinitive, then continue the sentence. Did you listen to stories? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Did you do your homework? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Did you study for, the, for your exam? Yes, I did it. Or, no, I didn't. Did you eat your lunch? Yes, I did. Or, no, I didn't. Did you watch TV? Did you visit your grandma? Did you travel to Alex? Did you drink drink? Did you drink milk? Did you did you did you go to school yesterday? As we said before, the verb the verbs to make it in the past we put D or E D or I E D. But we have something called irregular verbs. What's the meaning of irregular verbs? The verbs we can put to it D or ED or IED to, be, to become in the past form. So some verbs are irregular. Their past form do not end in ED or IED or D. Like what? Like be, verb to be. In the past, was or where. Was was he, she, or it, and was, where, was I, they, we, and you, become, became, became, begin, begun, bend, pant, pet, pet, uh, break, broke, drink, drunk, build, pelt, buy, put, catch, caught, come, came, 
cut cut drive drove eat ate feed fed fell felt find found forget forgot get got give give go went have had hear heard uh, kept kept leave left uh, let let make made mean meant bay bade put put ring rank ride brood sell sold send sent set set shine shoot sing sank sleep slept those are some of the irregular verbs that we have in the past symbol <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Hi, Mike. Did you just get back from a trip? Yeah, we went camping. What a trip. Was it fun? Fun? That's not exactly what I'd call it. We had a lot of problems. That's too bad. What happened? It all began when we got to the campsite on Friday evening. We unloaded the car, then sat down and drank some juice. We were happy that we had chosen such a beautiful camping spot. After a while, my wife said I should go park the car. I felt in my pocket for the keys, but they weren't there. I couldn't remember where I had put them. So what did you do? I must have spent an hour or so looking for my keys. Everyone lent me a hand, but the keys were nowhere to be found. We really thought they were lost for good. Finally, I looked in the car and saw that my keys were still in the ignition. <laughs> By that time, it was dark and we still hadn't pitched the tent. We had never set up a tent before, so we read the instructions quickly. But we understood nothing of what was written there. I think we were too tired. <sighs> Luckily, someone camping nearby came to help us. Did the rest of the trip go okay? Not exactly. I had brought some newspaper and matches. So I lit the fire to cook our food. But the flames kept shooting up too high. We tried to cook some hot dogs over it, but they all burnt. Oh. When the flame died down, we cooked some more hot dogs and ate every bite. We had been so hungry. Were you able to sleep in the tent? We hardly slept all night because we got bitten by mosquitoes. When we woke up in the morning, our bodies were really itchy. Did you do anything fun with your family in the campsite? Yes, we did. On Saturday, we swam in the lake. My son hadn't swum before, so I taught him how to swim. We had so much fun. Later that day, I went out in a canoe on the lake with my daughter to catch some fish. After a little while, she felt a big tug on the line. She stood up to reel her line in, but she fell out of the canoe. I hope she knew how to swim. Yes, she's a strong swimmer. She got back in the boat and caught a huge fish. 
We cooked it for dinner that night. It was delicious. You won't believe what happened next. Not long after we had gone to bed, I thought I heard something growling outside. It sounded like a bear. I told my family to stay in the tent while I crept outside. Through the dark, I saw something very large and hairy. It was a big bear. He had eaten the burnt hot dogs we had left out, and he was wandering around our campsite. We had made a mistake by leaving the burnt hot dogs there. We had meant to put them away in a safe place. But we completely forgot about that. The bear had been drawn to the camp by the smell. I thought the bear saw me standing there, so I froze in place. Oh no, that sounds scary. Did the bear go away? I was afraid the bear would come towards the tent, and I didn't want him to hurt my family. I ran away from the tent and into the woods, hoping the bear would follow me. What happened next? I'm guessing the bear didn't hurt you because you seem fine. No, he didn't hurt me and he never caught me. But believe me, I ran for my life. I hid behind the first big tree I found. The bear passed right by me, but he didn't see me. <sighs> I felt very relieved. It took me a while to calm down. I'm glad none of you got hurt. Do you think you'll go camping with your family again? Maybe, but not too soon. For our next vacation, we'll probably book a nice hotel on the beach instead. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a good idea. This experience taught me to always be prepared. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I had known more about camping. That's true. You should always be prepared. It was nice talking to you, Jerry, but I have to finish Max's walk. He doesn't like it when I stand around. No problem. Nice talking to you too, Mike. Let me know if you ever go camping, and I'll tell you what not to do. <laughs>